Hello my dear and valuable friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tete Vick and today I'm going to be your guide in understanding how to effectively manage your time to become more successful in your life. I have created a few other videos about time management so if that is what triggers you, that is if that is your passion and if that's what you really want to know, definitely go and check those videos as well. I teach there a lot of things and I decode the biggest maybe insight that you can't really manage time because it's universal and doesn't belong to you but you can learn to manage yourself so the time will benefit you in your life. In this video, I'm going to give you seven very practical ways how you can manage yourself better so your time flows, of course, nicer and smoother and lighter so your life becomes easier and you become more protect productive to reach your success. Before we start, let me just remind you that I do one-to-one -one consultations about time management. We create a special scale and we find out what is that you're lacking, what is that you would like to achieve, and that is a great consultation because we do so many different tests and we get to laugh a lot as well. And you get to know yourself so well that after the call you actually realize really easily what needs to be done for changes to happen. And as well I do different trainings, you can contact me below in the email and we can all get that done sorted for you. And you can also donate if you enjoy this contest and you enjoy my videos. Thank you so much for everybody that generously donates. So let's start. First step uh, to time uh, to manage your time, or to be honest, I think we should say manage yourself. You need to learn to say no. Nowadays, we live in a society where everybody wants to sell, everybody wants your time, everybody wants to rob you from something, either money or resources or your time or your attention. So you are in constant attack, to be honest. Therefore, you need to be very careful what you're doing and how you're using your time. Learning to say no is one of the most difficult things especially for women nowadays when we are so modern and we juggle with everything you know romance children career and looks and youth it's almost impossible for us to learn to say no but we have to learn to say no no matter if you are a youngster or an adult man or a woman learning to say no is the biggest favor you can do yourself. It's the best way how you can become your best friend. Say no to unnecessary people. Say no to social media notifications. Say no to the subscriptions or newspaper or TV or unnecessary games. Say no to those things so you can say yes to something that really will benefit your life. Second advice I would give you is beware of your thoughts. Very often we can't really manage our time because we are just drowning in our thoughts. We have such a bad thoughts, negative thoughts, worrying thoughts, stressful thoughts, obsessive thoughts. You know, all these things are not good for us and they influence our mental health. But in the same time, they rob our time, the most valuable essence that we have. When you are focused in your, um, when you are focused in your own thoughts, when you are just drowning in them and completely disconnected from reality, you are losing time. Therefore, you cannot manage yourself or your time wisely. That's why disconnect from your thoughts. Be aware that you are having thoughts. Don't try to control them because it's thousands of thoughts running through your head. But just be aware and say, oh, that's a hate thought oh that's a negative thought oh that's a scaring thought thank you so much for sharing you can pass me by you know let them be there but let them pass you by acknowledge them be aware you know be have this awareness don't try to attack or control or judge yourself be aware and let them go that's the second tip i can give you be aware of your thoughts and don't listen to every thought that you hear and definitely don't believe every thought that comes to your mind very often those are not even your own thoughts. It's just from the society or from movies or from other people that you heard. So be sure that you are aware of your thoughts because they rub your time as well. Number three is understanding productivity. You can do your own work, the whole day work in two hours or even one hour if you want. If you become productive, not busy, 
Very often people are just stick to their emails and they're glued to their emails from night to day. When they travel, they're doing emails. At work, they're doing emails. And on their way back and on a dinner table, they're doing emails. Emails nowadays are the biggest way of communication, especially if you're working in a corporate field. That's the best and easiest way how to communicate. And that is the biggest time and effort and investment and resource and your own being um, killer. That's why you need to avoid emails. You can get 10 emails, maybe wait 15 minutes and then go through, see which one is the right email and respond to that. Don't be on your emails all the time because you need to be not reacting towards emails, but being proactive, seeing, okay, what email actually needs to be action? This is a commercial. This can wait. This is not important. This is, I'm just CC'd in this email. I'm not even, you know, the main contact person. This email is not for me. This email is for HR. This email can be deleted this email can be dealt one year later only this email matters so from 10 emails only one email was actually necessary that's how people waste your time that's how people actually rob your time so be attentive to be productive at work productive if you study you know there could be 10 books that are advised to you to read if you are in a college or in uni but if you open annotations or introductions or just summaries and reviews to see what chapter talks about which subject you will understand that from these 10 books only two or three are actually valuable to read so be very very cautious how you use your productivity your work of the whole day can be really done in one or two hours if you think with a productive mind not by being busy it's not about how busy you are it's about how productive you are and to be productive the geniuses the very very high effective people they have a lot of breaks they rest a lot they sleep well they eat well they exercise when you do all that your mind is sharper number four is um, have time to think. Have time for yourself, have time in the nature, have time to disconnect and just think about your life. Think where you're going. Think about what you want to achieve. Have time to think. I have received so many different emails, you know, so many different requests to do consultations with executives, with um, senior vice presidents, with, you know, CEOs of the company saying, I don't have time to think. My whole day runs and I don't have time to think. And I say, you need to schedule that in your diary. You know, if you're studying, if you're working, even if you're, um, you know, um, home stay mom, you need to schedule the time that from two to three or from 12 to one, whatever your time is, or it's in the evening from eight eight to nine, I'm alone, I need time to think. And when you're thinking, you can have your little journal, you can write your thoughts there, you can make a gratitude journal. When you just say that you're thankful for the day, what was the achievement, what you would like to do differently tomorrow, and just be in the nature sometimes, alone, disconnected from everybody, from all technology. You need to have time to think. A man who doesn't think cannot grow. You have to have time to think. Number five is every day make a small step. Don't need to do giant steps. You cannot finish university in one day or one week. You cannot get married in one year or one week. And you cannot build a company in one year or in one week. Those things do not happen in one year or one week or even one month or, or in a short term. These things, the fundamental things of life, happen in the long term even before a baby is born it takes nine months for the parents to wait until the baby gets ready until the mother or the father gets ready